Women's Sunday Goddess Services for Sunday, September 8th. Your center holder today, Ava, the founder of the Goddess Temple. Today our theme is honoring the ancient goddess Zhi Wang Mu and our immortal spirits. And our intention together today, yes, to acknowledge our immortal spirits. We ask permission and a blessing from the ancestresses of this land, now called Orange County, the mothers of the Ahashman Nation, most honored in this space. We have a purification to let go of anything that does not serve us. We speak the unbroken lineage of woman. I am, we say our name, daughter of, we say our mother's name, and we claim our spirit is immortal. We speak the vision of the empowered woman, and the call is, Sister, your mind is your own, your thinking is clear, your thoughts are powerful. How do you hold your mind? And the congregation responds, as the divine intelligence of goddess. And the call, Sister, your body is your own, your body is beautiful, your body is divine. How do you hold your body? And the congregation responds, as the sacred body of goddess. And together we speak, we are women, the carriers of Shakti, the holders of humanity, and we remember always to celebrate ourselves as goddess embodied. We speak our invocations, sounding three ma's together, and we welcome the directions, north and south, east and west, with the mysteries of earth, the loving warmth of fire, and the breezes of air, and the flowing grace of water. Continuing with our invocations, we speak a welcome to the guides and guardians, the individual guides and guardians of every woman present in the room. And of course, we invoke she who is always everywhere and everything living inside us, goddess. We make our offerings to the altar and place our sacreds upon it for charging. We thank the priestesses who came early to set the space for the day. And we ask the congregation, if they have any energy to share after services, to please help us. Our queen teaching for today is all about Zi Wang Mu, Queen Mother of the West, Primordial Ruler. Said Taoist philosopher from the 4th century BCE, Zhuang Zi, no one knows her beginning, no one knows her end. The Oracle Bone, an inscription to goddess, reads, Crack making on day nine we divined, if we make offering to the Eastern Mother and to the Western Mother, there will be approval. What is the Oracle Bone? The Oracle Bone of ancient China is some of the earliest Chinese writing we know of. These were messages sent to goddess on bone or tortoise shell. And then the priestesses and priests would burn the bone and the surface would crack. And the lines would indicate a message back from goddess. Sort of an early form of a telephone, if you will. So close your eyes, if you will, and hear this most ancient poem to goddess. Flourishing our parasols, we reach the chronogram's extremity. Riding on the mist, I wander to lofty whirlwind peak. The lady of the supreme primordial descends through jade interior doors. The queen mother opens her blue gem palace. Celestial people, what a crowd! A lofty meeting inside the Cyan Audience Hall. Arrayed attendants perform cloud songs. Realized intonations fill the grand space. Every 3,000 years, her numinous melon produces abundantly this music so convivial and certainly infinite. This is from the writings of Wu Yun, an 8th century Taoist priest. Let's learn more about Zi Wang Mu. Her home 
is said to be on a palace on the top of Mount Kunlun in western China. At the margin of heaven and earth does she hold court. These are the actual Kunlun Mountains as seen from space. And as we will shortly learn, she has a colossal tree, a peach tree of immortality. And it is amazing that where her palace is said to be looks exactly like a tree. Here's a beautiful large Ziwang Mu statue in Fujian province, China. Her name, Ziwang Mu, Mu, mother, Wang, sovereign. Sovereign Mother. These are the appellations of Zi Wang Mu, the Queen Mother of the West, the Golden Mother, Golden Mother of the Shining Lake, Primordial Ruler, Metal Mother, Metal Mother of Tortoise Mountain, She of the Nine Numina, the Grand Perfected Marvel of the Western Fluorescence the ultimate worthy of the Grotto Yin, the ninefold numinous realized primal ruler of the purple tenuity from the white jade tortoise terrace. Her home is a palace of gold, a perfect and complete paradise, a meeting place for all the deities. Her legend speaks of her peaches of immortality growing on a colossal tree only ripening once every 3,000 years. Her tree is a cosmic axis, a pillar connecting heaven and earth, a ladder traveled by spirits and shamans where communication between deities and humans is possible. Ji Wang Mu's appearance, a beautiful mature woman in a gold robe, with a huge headdress of suspended peaches. Earlier, a cat woman indicating powers of sorcery and most originally a ferocious goddess with tiger teeth and wild hair sending both pestilence and healing to the world. As she came to represent the Taoist pantheon, her aspects of life and immortality were emphasized and she was depicted as elegant and refined. Her powers she serves her peaches of immortality to her guests, making them immortal and healing them of disease. She determines the lifespan of all living beings. The energies of new growth surround her like a cloud. She is the dispenser of prosperity, longevity, and eternal bliss and she confers divine realization on spiritual seekers who ask. So it is important to remember to ask. She is the embodiment of Yin, the greatest goddess and the ruler of female transcendence. She holds a special relationship with women. She is attended by a retinue, hosts of spirits and transcendentals called the Jade Maidens. The Jade Maidens. Who are the Jade Maidens? long sleeve dancers and musicians who play chimes and flutes and mouth organs and sounding stones made of jade. In medieval murals, the Jade Maidens bear magical mushrooms on platters. They are invocateurs, women who can make the spirits come down by dancing. And Chinese art is full of these ecstatic dancing women. The Jade Maidens act as messengers of goddess, and they are the teachers of Taoist mystics. Reading Taoism today, you might think that it was created by men. Men's writings, men's philosophies, peel back the layers of history and time, and you will find that all those men were taught by women, by their mothers, by their sisters. Women are the origin of Taoist philosophy. 
The Jade Maidens impart mystic revelations and they present divine foods to those who are so blessed to attend the banquet of goddess. But the Book of the Yellow Court warns spiritual seekers against the temptation to make love to the Jade Maidens of Hidden Time. For you may not return. Jiwang Mu, Protectress of Women. And women have venerated her at the birth of their daughters, and they have called upon her to protect new brides. When a woman turns 50, she automatically honors Ji Wang Mu. Ji Wang Mu, the protectress of women, and her special protégés are women who stand outside the patriarchal family system. In other words, women who earned their own way in the world. The singers, the dancers, the prostituted women, yes, the nuns, the hermits, and the sages who attained the Tao and taught men. The Queen Mother of the West, the most powerful and independent Chinese deity representing ultimate yin, commanding all. So there are three questions to ponder. You are everything. You are a jade maiden. You are a human woman. You are a queen. You are goddess. First, you are the companion of goddess, a jade maiden. You are immortal because you eat of her peaches. What will you do with your immortality? You are a queen. The queen is the archetype in woman that communicates clearly. You stand at her cosmic pillar of sacred communication. To whom will you communicate? And what will you say? You are goddess herself. You have all powers. As such, what do you choose to do next? <sighs> At this time, we enjoy peach sparkling water with a fresh peach slice prepared by Priestess Marcia, and we libate each other and enjoy the sweetness. And we make our offering, singing our song, O Great Goddess, wealth and prosperity, riches flow forth from inside me. And the women give what they can, and we know we are truly blessed by these generous-hearted women who keep with their offerings this, our mother's house, standing. And we gather in circle to make our queen's prayers, to pray for women of the world who are holding so much, who are dealing with so much. We make our prayers for women who are struggling in detention centers, many of them separated from their children. We make our prayers for these women. We make our prayers for all who are struggling with Hurricane Dorian and their homes being wiped away. And we make our prayers for all who are dealing with the fires in the Amazon, in Brazil, Bolivia, and in Africa. But wait, our prayers are not done. Suddenly, kittens appear. <laughs> and they were found in a trash bag earlier on the street by Brenda Ortiz. And they were rescued by Delicia Salpulveda, Brian Youngberg, Heather of Saving One Life in San Diego, and our own longtime Goddess Temple member and teacher of sacred crafts and great cat rescuer, the wonderful Meredith Kirby. And the women bless these tiny creatures with a chant for life. Thank you, Goddess, for the opportunity to bless and support these tiny creatures. <laughs> well, all right, now we are finally coming to a conclusion. We acknowledge that we have fulfilled our intention set earlier at the beginning of services. We have acknowledged our immortal spirits. And in circle, we express our gratitude to one another. We know that 
feeling gratitude magnetizes more blessings unto us. Goddess loves a grateful woman and rewards her with more resources and abundance each day. We conclude with our vision of the empowered woman. And the call goes, sister, your mind and your body are your own. Your thinking is ever more clear, your presence ever more powerful. As you go forth from your woman's temple, how do you hold your mind and body? And the response is, as the divine expression of goddess. And we say together, we are women, the carriers of Shakti, the holders of humanity. We go forth celebrating ourselves as the presence of goddess on earth. We invite the women to dissolve any energetic cords that may have been created during the circle, and we invite them to stand in their own sovereign power. We make our valedictions thanking goddess, the ancestresses, our guides and guardians, and the directions and elements. And we sing our concluding song together. And we always end it with a little kick at the end, which for the new women is always a big surprise and causes them to laugh. <laughs> and this concludes our women's Sunday services. This one too is Zi Wang Mo. And women now pray personally and address the altars, enjoy meditation in the sanctuary, or cross the bridge into the lounge for the social hour. And until we meet again, you are priestess at your own altar. You are queen of your own realm. You are goddess embodied. It is so. It is so. It is so. Blessed be.